I have a message uh, from the Lord today coming from the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 1. It says, do not judge or you too will be judged. You know, I ask Lord, I say, Lord, what message do you have for your people? What do you want your people to know? And he gave me this Bible card that says, do not judge or you too will be judged. A lot of people, a lot of us judging. We doing a whole lot of judging. We doing a whole lot of criticizing. We doing a whole lot of turning our eyes and our lips and our mouths and our frowns up at folk at people at your brother at your sister okay at your family members at your husband at your wife at your children okay god is saying do not judge do not judge or you too will be judged we all need jesus we all have fallen short of the glory of god so he that is without sin, let him cast the first stone. He who is without sin, let him cast the first stone. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Not so that we would live and judge other folks because we all fall down but by the grace of god we all get back up again at least we supposed to there's some people who millions didn't make it but i was one of the ones who did you was one of the ones who did some people ain't make it some people still down and the work of the lord the message of the good news, the spread of the gospel is supposed to build those up who are or have been torn down. Okay, it's he came to save those that are lost. He didn't come to condemn or judge those. Excuse me, now I had to. I had, see, see, edification is a gift <laughs> it's a gift it's a gift from god okay it, it, it it's a gift from god only only god could teach you how to edify and how to exhort okay um yeah yeah because many a times when the messages come through his people they are a message of conviction it's filled with conviction but God does the work. We just the messenger. We must just release God's message. It's not to condemn. It's not to judge. It's to give the Lord's message to your spirit. It's to minister to your spirit. And the Holy Spirit does all the ministering. The Holy Spirit does all the convicting. The Holy Spirit does all the work, the healing, the delivering, all of that. Is done by the Holy Ghost. Okay. Do not judge or you too will be judged. Stop judging. Let's stop judging one another. And let's start embracing and supporting and comforting one another. Let's start doing unto others as we will have them do unto us. Regardless. If you like them or if you don't. And if you don't like someone, then, then there's some healing that needs to still happen within yourself. Okay? Because we ought to love everybody. The Bible says, love thy neighbor as thyself. And when you love somebody as yourself, you don't mistreat them. You don't do them dirty. 
You don't, you don't return evil for evil. You don't talk about them. You don't gossip. You don't spread loss and you don't, you don't, you, 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 you don't spread malice and stuff like that. You don't do that. You act in the very manner in which Christ will have you to act in. Okay. The very manner in which Christ displayed. When you're judging, you're not putting on Christ. When you're judging, you're not loving your neighbor as yourself. When you judge, you're not representing God. Especially, especially now. Because the Bible, the Bible doesn't condemn judging. All right, totally. But... Let me tell you, especially when you ain't in a position to judge nobody. When you're not walking uprightly. Okay. When you still sinning. And fornicating. And being in this world. And being of this world. You ain't in no position to judge nobody. Because the Bible say, you can't judge nobody. You can't go help nobody. You can't take no moat out of your brother eye until you get it up out of your eye. Take the beam out of your eye. Then you can help somebody else. See? When you're walking up rightly and when you're living an obedient life consecrated to Christ and when you're doing the will of the Father, then that's a different story. He can then use you. <laughs> he can use you. He can work with you and through you to help save your brothers or your neighbor's soul. To help draw them in with thy love and kindness have I drawn thee. Glory be to God. Not with, not with hate. Not with malice. Not with anger. With thy love and kindness have I drawn thee. See, on this walk with Christ, you get to a point where you get to a point where you realize that when you see people hurting, because 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 when you get to this place, you done been through through some hurt. You done been through some pain. You done been through, you know what I'm saying, the rain, the storm. You know what I'm saying? You you ain't always been saved. You ain't always been righteous. You ain't always been here. Just like it took a journey to get you, it's gonna take a journey for someone else. So that's when, that's when we put on compassion. That's where compassion eases in and it should soothe and seep out of your, out of your being and, and, and flow into someone else's life to help pick them up, to help give words of comfort that only the Holy Spirit can give and speak through you to help you say the right words that'll pierce somebody's heart. That will break a yoke of bondage up off of them. That's what it's all about. Because when you've been there, you know how it feel to be there. So you could st- you could you could then see yourself, you know, that's where I used to I used to be there. So I know you can empathize and and and, and sympathize with other people. You can have true compassion. For another person because you've been where they are. And then as you continue to walk, you can understand that there is a heart condition there that needs to be healed. There is some healing that needs to take place and only healing can happen when God wants it to happen. The same way you healed, the same way he healed you, the same way he delivered you and the same way he's still working on you, the same way he's still working on me. Okay. Because every day there's always room for improvement. I don't care how far you you done came from. You still ain't perfect. So that means we still got work to do. So do not judge or you too will be judged. By the same manner and measure in which you are judging your brother, your sister, your neighbor. This is what God is saying. Matthew 7, 1. There's a whole lot of judging going on and not enough loving going on. 
Not enough loving going on. Not enough supporting going on. A whole lot of division and not enough unification. Glory be to God. United we stand, divided we fall. And you judging the ones that done fail. But have you ever thought about why they fail? Or why they fall down? We fall down. But maybe it's because you ain't go help them up. Maybe because they don't have nobody there to help them up. Maybe because you are the only Christ that they see and you should go and help them up. Everybody ain't here to help everybody. I understand that. But if God placed it on your heart to be that person's ear, then do it. Go let him hear what thus said the Lord. If God ain't placed it on your heart, then perhaps you need to pray. Pray for your brother and your sister then. If you can't help them in the physical, we can always pray. We are, Men ought to always pray. We are to pray without ceasing. And prayer changes things. So if you can't help, don't hinder. Pray. Pray for your brother and your sister. Pray for those who despitefully use you. Pray for those. Don't judge them. Because you ain't no better than them once you judge them. You, you fall right in the pit. And that's a very testing in and of itself from the Holy Spirit sometimes because we got a character problem. We got a character problem. Many of us cry, Lord, Lord, and Jesus, Jesus. But where is your fruit? If you are connected to the vine and we are the branches, then we supposed to have a lot of fruit hanging. Hallelujah, Jesus. A lot of fruit. Hey, God. He said, be fruitful and multiply. Glory be to God. Be fruitful and multiply. Glory be to God. We ought to have so much fruit that we don't have no room or no space on a branch for judging. We ain't got no space on the branches for hating. And being jealous and envy. We ain't got no space. When you got a lot of fruit. No man can serve two masters. You either serve God or you serve. Money is the second master. Mammon. The devil ain't even. Ain't even a master considered in the Bible. When God talks about no man can serve two masters. He's talking about him. God. The father. The son and the Holy Spirit. And he's talking about money. Because the love of it is the root to all evil. Okay. So do not judge. Lest you will be judged. Every man. Woman, boy, and girl will take an account. We'll have to take an account. God is going to hold you accountable for everything that you know. Everything that you know. And I want to add everything that you that you try to play like you don't know. Yeah. Because when you hear it, now you know. You could let it go in one ear out the other, but you can't negate the fact that you know it, that you heard it. You will be held accountable for that. It's a whole lot of pretending going on. And it's time to get really real with Christ. It's time to really get real with the Lord. Get real with God. Judge not, lest ye be judged. Until next time, I love you with the love of Christ. Be blessed.